Hello there everyone, UXW Bill here once again. You can see it's late at night out, so I've got to keep things down to something of a dull roar to avoid harassing any of the neighbors. Now for any of you who have watched our videos for a while, you will undoubtedly be aware that the key keeper, my brother, drives this white 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis. Why is this car white? Why does the key keeper drive it? Well, if you didn't know, you're about to find out. Oh, by the way, don't ever try what we're about to do at home or anywhere else, because it is, in many jurisdictions, highly illegal and you will get in big trouble. Okay, now while you can't hardly see anything, you can take my word for it that I'm out here at the farm now with the key keeper. We are well and truly out in the middle of nowhere, and I highly suggest if you go against my warning, which you really shouldn't do, and decide to try something like this yourself, or anything similar that makes a hell of a lot of noise, that you either do it during normal daylight hours, or you go to a place where there is absolutely nothing. But of course, be careful, because sound really travels in the country at night. The key keeper's got his mercury here. And as previously mentioned, there is a reason why the key keeper has this car and likes it so much. Because of its color, and its general body shape, and its relation to the Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Let's go ahead and take a look in the grill here. And you'll see that the key keeper has a speaker mounted somewhere in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I heard that one echo. And that one echoes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, there you have it, folks. The key keeper is going to get into so much trouble with this car, it's not even funny. And once again, <sighs> I strongly suggest that no one in the viewing audience even remotely entertain thoughts of attempting to impersonate a police officer because you will get into some incredibly serious trouble. Let's go ahead and take a look at the technical end of things here. Now the key keeper went ahead and installed that speaker a long time ago. He's been using that with Bizarre Furhead CB in the PA mode for a number of nefarious purposes, including but not limited to harassing people at his place of work. He once directed someone to open the garage door at his employer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they gave me the funniest damn look, too. <laughs> I'll bet they did. Anyway, here's what we did. The siren sounds came from the key keeper's iPhone. Apparently there is an app for that. <laughs> this isn't an app for anything. And then we have the little Dayton Audio T amplifier here. And because we lack the proper cables to do this, but have no shortage of air sats, adapters, and wiring related bad ideas in general, the connector coming out of his speaker is this mini plug. This is actually an extension, so it's a tip ring sleeve stereo, and we don't need that. We only need monophonic because there's just the one speaker. We've got some clip leads run to that, and then the clip leads in turn go to the output of the T amp. Got them kind of separated from one another here so they don't short out on each other. And then we have a 1 8 inch stereo to 1 8 inch stereo line level output connection from the iPhone to the input of the T amplifier, which of course we just turn on. There's another one of those unnecessary but cool looking blue LEDs. And Bob's your uncle, or in my case, grandfather. <laughs> but again, folks, seriously, the penalties for impersonating a police officer are especially severe. So seriously, don't do this. We were just curious. We found out it does indeed work. Thank you for watching, and by all means, feel free to leave a comment if you have one.